So I talked about how I just wanted to be saktong burgis. It does seem all pretentious and zen-like, wanting to walk the moderate path, but some of you have asked, why not just try to be filthy rich? Now, I wouldn't be a hypocrite to say that if you offer me a billion pesos right now with no strings attached and tax-free, that I wouldn't accept it. Well, even if tax, uh, I'd still accept it. But if we're talking about me grinding to where I am right now, to obscene wealth, I do have some grave reservations. I'll probably go over my reasons in detail in another video, but top of mind, it's because considering all the factors, uh, the road to becoming filthy rich, coming from humble beginnings, is likely lined with radioactive shit. Unless, of course, I suddenly luck out, like if one of our investments suddenly shoots to the moon. Um, it's always nice to have those thought exercises, like if you win the lottery, what are you going to do with the money? Uh, they say that money doesn't change you, it only amplifies who you are. But what if I tell you that, should I win the lottery, one of the things that I'll do with the money is to set up a scholarship fund for poor kids. I mean, seriously. And I'm sure some of you think of me as a downright asshole, right? Anyway, what actually worries me about the money is the complications that come with it. The great philosopher, you know, Biggie Smalls, did spew some truth, uh, aside from mad rhymes, when he said, mo money, mo problems. Personally, I don't like to be encumbered by a lot of things, and I don't think uh, I'd like to bring more complexity into my life, and money can do exactly that. For instance, to manage an obscene amount of wealth, you may have to loop in more people into your life to help you manage it. Unless, of course, you keep all of them as financial assets, like you know, cash, accounts, stocks, bonds, etc., which isn't exactly the smartest thing to do uh, with wealth. You know, properties are a great way to diversify it, but you have to pay taxes, you know, pay dues if they happen to be in gated communities or condominiums and the like, or if it's a private island, you know, those things. Uh, you have to keep them maintained or else you lose out on depreciation. And if you have a lot, it'd be more than handful to manage yourself. Now, even if you hire a financial manager, you still have to stay on top of things. You know, there's a long list of rich people that have been scammed by their own financial advisors. So you can just place full trust on just about anyone. And savory characters are drawn to money like flies to shit. Uh, that's the reason why rich people stay in exclusive gated communities, invest in a ton of security, keep to themselves, and just mingle with their own kind. Aside from outright criminals, you also have to be mindful of vultures as well. Uh, you can't even trust the people close to you. And I have a very personal cautionary tale when it comes to this. Uh, we were still studying when our dad died. When he passed, we received a bit of money from his government fund. It wasn't even huge by any metric, but for us, uh, it was supposed to be significant enough to tide us over and cover our living and education expenses until we graduate from university. But when word of the benefit package got out among so-called family and friends, you know, the vultures circled. Our dad's side of the family felt that they are also entitled to the money. People who knew our mom asked for loans. And given our mom's a bleeding heart, uh, she relented and those debts were never repaid up, up to this day. Our mom's friends also pushed her to try an Amiga lifestyle. Uh, they went out, went shopping, bought all sorts of wasteful abubot. Um, we can't really blame our mom for that. You know, she was grieving and likely depressed all of those years. Uh, needless to say, the, the money ran out quickly and my sister and I had to work and hustle just to finish college. Ours was a classic example of if you don't know how to handle a windfall, you're bound to get badly burnt. This is why I'm convinced that money can corrupt relationships. Even families will eventually get torn apart by money disputes. Blood is thicker than water. Well, you know, paper is denser than blood. The whole experience conditioned me to settle for simpler things and to avoid punching beyond my financial weight. I'm not shunning the idea of acquiring wealth. It's just that I also fear what comes with having it. I've barely scratched the surface as to why I'm not entirely comfortable with being filthy rich. And I just might talk about this a bit more in the coming videos. But hey, who knows? Uh, maybe I'm just gaslighting myself. If anyone's going to give me oodles of free Bitcoin, I'm taking that.